Welcome back, my friends, to Undead Lake Salmon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we're going to go do this uh, clear quest. Um, so let's see. Before we get started, though, with that, I have a have a bit of a PSA. I have been, um, let's say, having a conversation in the comments with the uh, same individual who was accusing me of... Um, using hatches as an exploit and, and now this individual is complaining that I am using uh, blocks to block the doors and basically saying that I'm, I'm not playing on hard settings because I do that I'm playing on easy settings so here's the thing I you know everybody's entitled to their own opinion absolutely entitled to their own opinion and I respect everybody's opinion but I don't have to agree with it right and so you know, I've been talking to this individual and I've been trying to explain <clears throat> that you, th there is absolutely no way you guys, I could play seven days to die, uh, let alone undead legacy or other games like Ravenhurst or whatever on nightmare, um, and insane at the same time and survive it and get in, get to a point where, you know, I can finally start going head to head with the zombies on a regular basis without using tactics that some people might call exploits or some people might call cheese but i just simply call them the way that i have figured out how to play this game on these settings okay um this individual doesn't want me to put blocks in front of doors if i walk into a poi in the early game and we're still kind of in the early game we're kind of transitioning to the mid game um, and I don't block the doors, and I have three nightmare zombies coming at me. I there is no way I'm going to survive that. You guys have seen how hard these zombies hit, um, and it's just not going to happen. If I'm going to play on these settings, and I am going to play on these settings, um, I've got to figure out a way to make it work. If I do, if I try and use normal, non cheese, and that is very subjective too, by the way, non cheese, non exploitive tactics is you can't play this game on these settings. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. Um, and, and I think, you know, those of you who have been watching me all along and see what I'm up against, you're going to, you know, you would agree me agree with me that that's the truth. Now, in terms of you guys, you guys who are watching my channel, I put out a poll today uh, because, you know what, let me just see whatever, what the majority of you think, what all of you think, and not just this one individual. And as of right now... 65% of you don't care what difficulty I play on at all, and 30% of you want me to continue playing on increased difficulty. I'm looking at the poll right now as I speak, and only 5% of you actually don't like the methods that I use when I'm playing on, uh, you know, on these settings. So, you know, I'm going off of actual data from you guys. Uh, so it's, it's you know, at, the most important thing is that I'm going to play the game the way I'm going to play the game, the way that I enjoy it the most. Because if I'm not enjoying the game, you guys aren't going to enjoy it either. So I get that. But it's also important to me, you know, to get feedback from you guys too, uh, the viewership, and the vast majority of you either don't care that I'm playing on difficulty, you're going to watch me no matter what, uh, and a good portion of you, 30% as of right now, um, want me to be playing on these these hard settings and, and you know see how i deal with the challenge and get through it okay so let's start the episode proper now so it is uh almost 9 a.m in the morning and so what i did last night is i i did some more mining and i actually mined up some coal at, at a different mine and i got a whole bunch of coal powder um cooked up here and we got quite a bit of sulfur powder too so that way that way we can start making gunpowder but what is holding us up still is books, right? So I only have five books. We need 20 books in order to make the research tier two table, which is then going to unlock the chemistry bench so that we can make gunpowder and some other things that we need. Uh, it is also horde 21. So, you know, we, we're going to have to, we're going to deal with the horde tonight. Um, so I think what I want to do first is I want to make sure I'm well prepared for that. So let's grab some stuff and just take it over there so it's over there and um okay so we got some brick we're gonna also want some st well most of what we have is is actually brick now so we'll still take some stone with us uh for a couple of pieces that might need stone upgrading likewise with the planks uh we'll you know we'll take some planks with us too if if they're needed and we're gonna want scrap uh, iron for our, our little door 
Okay, so let's take that and then we'll put uh, these things back in here. Finally, the, the rain has stopped, so that's good. And let's see, we have the repair hammer, so that should be good to go. I really wish that I could make, you know, make some pipe bombs. I mean, I know how, but the holdup on the pipe bombs is, is the ballistics table, and I can't get the ballistics table until I get the tier two research station. So that's just another thing that's holding me up there. Um, so, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about tonight uh, because it is hard 21 and we haven't really improved anything on the base than you know from what we had on horde 14 but i i I'm, I'm not in a position really to to do anything different it's all i have to work with so <laughs> hopefully hopefully it'll work okay well i mean time will tell right we'll either it, it'll either work or it won't and if it doesn't we die and and then i get pissed <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, let's go ahead and um, take, do, 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 do. oh, are those, I made more iron arrows, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so we got 140 of those. Uh, we do have this steel spear that I got as a, as a prize, and I'm just trying to see, do I have any mods? There's a, what is the mod on here? I think it's a barbed wire, which only goes on clubs. Uh, modify. Oh, actually, yeah, look, it, it it shows you right here in this little square. So, yeah, the barbed wire mod only works on clubs. Um, and so, yeah, that isn't really going to do us any good. But what we could do is we could take the serrated blade mod off of here and put it on the spear. And then we could, you know, try and use this steel spear uh, as one of our melee weapons. I'm just trying to see how much stamina a normal attack uses. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. I could sustain that for a while. Um, and if we throw it, let's uh, let's throw it at this. Let's see how much stamina that takes. That takes about a fifth of my stamina. Okay. So, yeah, we'll use this. You know, the advantage of, of it, of course, is it has, whoops, it has the reach to it. I did try a stone spear last time, and it just wasn't working for me. But this is a steel spear, so it's, you know, quite a bit better than that stone spear. And it'll just be a backup weapon. Now, I think we're going to rely mostly on our sledgehammer, though. And I just need to manage my stamina a little bit better. Uh, speaking of which, we have red... I made red tea because I found the red tea schematic, I think, in the last episode. Um, so, you know... We'll have this on our hotbar so we can kind of keep our stamina regen going. I, I don't have enough coffee really to do use coffee effectively for that. And uh, see, what else? We're going to want to take... What does this do? This just lets us carry stuff. Yeah, and help and work with broken limbs a little bit better. So that's not really going to help us a whole lot. Uh, we will take a couple of vitamins in case we get a fatigue... We have some painkillers in case we get a concussion. I don't have any thing for like broken limbs, do I? Hmm. Uh, let's take the recog and the fort bites. Uh, again, we're not going to use learning elixir until we can really start damaging the, the zombs. So can I can I make a splint? We should have. I thought I had a cast. Maybe I used it up or something. Let's do splint. That's something I can make. Yeah, I can just make that in my backpack. Okay. So let's have a couple of those on hand, too. And uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, cloth. Okay. So we'll make... Uh, let's just make, like, two of those. That should be good. You know, the the thing that sucks about the way the game works now... It, it, it sucks, but it kind of makes sense, though, too, is... Once you get a, a sprained leg uh, or a broken leg that you then put a cast on, you're still really gimped until it completely heals up. Because if you try and, you know, do anything that's a, a little bit too strenuous, it just adds to the, the time it takes to heal. Which, again, it kind of makes sense, actually, but it still sucks. <laughs> it still sucks nonetheless, right? Uh, all right, so that should give us everything we need meds-wise. Oh, no, let's take a few of these, too, in case we get a laceration. Right, okay. Uh, we only have two first aid kits and four regular bandages. So, again, I'm, I'm just going to try and be a little more careful this time than I was last time in terms of not getting too close and getting whacked by those guys. I, I kind of got into a better rhythm uh, towards the end of Horde Night 14. Um, so, you know, we'll try and make that work. Uh, I also have repair kits. Now, I did find 
in uh, by taking apart a vending machine um, some steel plating. And then I found I found two more steel plating somewhere else. I can't remember where now actually. Um, so we can actually use this to repair this, but you know, in the middle of Horde Night, uh, we're just going to have repair kits for that. Okay, so let's take all of this stuff over to the Horde base and, you know, just have it there and ready to go. And then we're going to set out and uh, do this quest. Okay, so let's put this in there, that in there, those in there. Scrap iron, the meds, all of that stuff. Uh, we'll probably should keep the painkillers with us. And let's put half the arrows in here too, just because they're kind of heavy. We do have our, our two pipe bombs with us as well. Okay, everything should be fully repaired. Ex oh, except for this little piece here. You know what? We need some concrete mix, don't we? Hmm. All right, let's, uh, I might have some of that back at the base, a uh, base. Um, or the trader might have some. Let me run back real quick and check that. And uh, I'll just meet you guys over at the questing location. Okay, so the trader does not have concrete mix, but look what he does have, a weighted head mod. I think we need that, you guys. Totally think we need that um, for our sledgehammer. What do I have on there right now? Uh, yeah, I just had the fortifying grip. Well, you know, that one's not actually a bad one either. Uh... But this is going to be more effective. As a chance to stun and slow victims. Um, I don't know, though, man. This could really actually save our butt on Horde Knight. <laughs> it gives us that extra healing. I still think this is probably going to be more effective, though. Uh, so here, I got a couple things I'm going to sell him, too. So let's do that now first. Um, so shift W on that. Uh, shift W. On, whoops. Bone. Hit the wrong button. On that, uh, W there. Let's take the, uh, here, we'll sell him this. I guess you're not so and bad. And let's take the die off of here. And we don't really get that much more money for it, but every little bit counts, especially in the early game, right? Okay, we'll sell that and sell that. Okay, so that gets us up to 33.21. Um, just trying to see what else he has here. A scrap katana. A hunting knife. That's a nice hunting knife. It's kind of expensive, though. He's not going to reset until, um, you know, until after Horde Night. So, all right, yeah, let's buy this. I think I think that's a good idea. Let's buy this. How much does that thing cost? Nine thousand seven hundred bucks. Here? Yeah, we're done here. Okay. Greeting. What are you standing over there for? You're supposed to be in the middle. I'm just trying to see what else he has to. Uh, these, those are probably going to get me in trouble, actually. <laughs> oh, look, he's got a crossbow. Oh, this guy's inventory has reset. He's got a, a D level AK. He's got a crossbow. Oh, man, that sucker's expensive. Um,. All right, you know what we probably should do with the rest of our coin is buy some ammo. That's just the scrap pistol. That's a better pump shotgun, but still really expensive. Uh, how much does this cost? Yeah, let's buy the let's buy the pipe bomb. Let's buy. I need five five sixes, but I don't want to. Here we go. All right, how many of those can I buy? Here, let's, uh, we've got, tw we got about $2,000. We've got 84 shotgun shells. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's buy 16 more of these. So we have 100. All right, and then we're going to spend the rest of our money on the 5.56s. Five, so we can use that with our, our assault rifle. So we have 1,600 to spend here. 64. Nice. Okay. See you later. So, um, yeah, I I wasn't able to find, uh, uh, or he doesn't have any concrete mix. So either we're going to have to find some or we're not going to be able to repair that bottom block, in which case, I guess we hope and, <laughs> hope and pray that it survives the night, right? I mean, I don't know. What else am I supposed to do at this point? Um, I would have saved 
my money, but again, they, the trader is not going to reset until tomorrow. Um, well, no, wait, actually, he reset this morning, which it still is a moot point because he doesn't have any, right? So unless unless we can find some somewhere, yeah, that that's going to be interesting. We'll have to see how 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 we'll handle that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this clear quest done, and uh, hopefully. We don't run into a a bloated walker guy. Um, do we want to do? You know what? Let's not double loot because we're time is wasting. Time is a wasting. Slime's a tasting. All right, here. Let's put this on here. Modify. I'm gonna keep this handy. Um, I'm just not sure. Can I put this on the compound bow? Actually, oh, I got the crippler on there. Oh. Uh, it doesn't look like it goes on there anyhow. So, uh, what does this have? This has the duck bill. Well, yeah, I can't put that on there either. This doesn't have anything. And again, that's only for melee. So, definitely want to keep the serrated blade on this guy. So let's just let's just go with what we got. Let's just go with what we got. Okay. Hopefully, we'll luck out and find a little bit of concrete mix. That would be really nice. I got plenty of cement. I just don't have any way to make the cement mix into concrete. Yeah, I've been picking these things up too because I think they're really cool looking for storage. So once we get our permanent base set up, we'll... Oh, that's good. Uh, we'll have those things to work with. Okay, let's go up here. Up here. And up here. I've done this POI before. I just don't remember exactly how it goes down. Oh, actually, you know what? I think this is the POI that we started our Alpha 19 stable uh, playthrough in. It looks really familiar. Like, I think that's what it is. Okay, let's grab this stuff because we get actual boards from it. We'll check the boxes. Got some Presto logs. That's nice. Um, I think I'm going to forego the cement for now, just because, again, we don't have a lot of time, and I'm going to do selective looting here. Make sure everybody's loaded, by the way. This one was only partially loaded. And our badger. We only have four shots in that thing. And let's load you up, too. Do I have any points? I don't. Okay. All right, so we got him just trying to I'd like to see is there a door here that we close and we don't get more than one we're getting awfully close to that guy well all right let's just do that that works there we go okay why can't i pick that arrow up oh that was weird uh all right let's see what's in this box Construction site. Come on, concrete mix. That is not concrete mix. However, I will take seven glue. That's not a bad find. And some more of those, too. Okay. Okay, that's blocked. That's blocked. Let's get this. Oh, shit, that scared me. <laughs> Okay, darling, you just gave me a freaking heart attack. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Uh, all right, let's temporarily block that. from anyone coming down from below. We'll go into the bathroom and see what's in here. Whew. Okay, well, I'm awake now. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, yeah, we're not, we're not uh, doing water charges anymore because we have our well now, so we don't need to worry about that. It's very nice that we don't have to worry about that now either. Okay, let's look in here. We got a nurse. She did. See, our archery's getting a little bit better. We're slowly improving. Let's hit this. We get a generous amount of stuff from taking those beds apart. All right, let's go down this way. Yeah, this is definitely the house that we... Had our Alpha 19 stable base in, well, in the early part of the game. I eventually ended up building uh, building a base from scratch later, but we started here. 
All right, anyone down there we can sn snipe a doodle? Not seeing it, so let's just get this ready. I see two red dots, one there, one there. That means there's probably somebody right underneath us here. Yeah, and there's somebody right in that room. Okay, let's just down a little more. Now, can we temporarily do that? Alright, so we woke up Nurse Nancy and somebody else. Darlene! Yeah, come on up here. You did. You need a bonk? Give me my arrow back. All right, that takes care of both of those red arrows. So let's take a peek inside of here. Nothing in there. Anybody in here? Oh shit. Um, okay. Okay, we'll grab that. Take this apart. Alright, we've got a, a leg right there. Come at me, brah. You did. Oh, wait. Wrong tool. Nobody in there. Man, lots of king-sized beds in this house. Let's close that, because we're going to have to go down into the basement, and that's where things are going to get really fun. We'll take some food, and uh, I'll see what's in here. Sink. There we go. Okay, I think that's about it for looting the kitchen. Let's go downstairs. This is where the fun's going to really start. I don't have anything compatible in my hand. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I, I really want to save my meds for Horde Night, so we're going to keep going. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. Let's do this. Let's get rid of you. I got a red dot, two red dots right there. Maybe we can get a sneaky sneak off on one of them. Sneaky skill has improved to level 15. Fantastic. Uh, okay. If there's a Zeke down here, I don't see where they are. So let's do that. There we go. Okay. Let's just take this guy as quietly as possible. Wait. Is he coming? Dude, did you not see me? He didn't see me. He saw me. Come here, Ronnie McDonnie. And former, formerly known as Spider Zombie. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. See, guys, we're getting better. We're getting a little bit stronger, and the stronger that we get, the less blocking of doors that we use but you know it's just like in the very early game there is no way i could make this work if i didn't do that it's just not going to happen or let me put it to you this way if there is a way you can make it work then prove it uh, i am all ears don't just tell me you have to show you have to be able to prove it by with a video 
if there's a better way you know to do this uh, on these settings that's the the key right there on these settings that means all your zombies are on nightmare speed all the time no matter what time of day it is and you're on, playing on insane so if you can come up with a better way to survive in the early game without blocking doors and POIs I'm all ears I would very much love to know if there's a better way to do it and if I agree with you I'll start employing that better way Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen here is we're going to have some puppies and some zombos down in this pit. Let's see if we can get some sneaky sneaks. Alright, well, we got oh shit. Ha ha ha, Darlene. Look at you falling for the traps. Two darlings. They must be twins. Okay, let's get some stamina back and try a power attack here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at you jump. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, you dead. Are there not any dogs down here? There's usually dogs down here, isn't there? No, don't be doing the crouchy crouch stuff. Let me just hit you right in the butt. Oh, shit. All right, return to trader. We're done. We are done. What is this, concrete? Uh, No, but we, we'll go around. I think, isn't there something down here? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We're going to grab that big weapons bag, too, and use that for storage. Okay, let's check the meds. Good. And the chamois crate. I don't think we're going to find concrete mix in the chamois crate, but we'll see what's in here. Nice. Grandpa's moonshine. Double vision juice is what that is. Oh, wow, look at that, you guys. Uh, and we got seven six twos. Man, I really need five fives. Okay, this 20% more arrows. And you, we're going to learn all the archery tree. Absolutely going to learn all the archery tree. Okay, let's try the weapons bag. Oh, look at that. I'll take that. Very nice. All right, yes, we will take that. And then we're going to pick this guy up and use it. And now for the fat loots. Uh, oh, nice. Taylor's treasure map. Let's just read that right now. Examine. Hidden stash. Okay, cool. Because uh, we can do those without getting um, char uh, attacked by the zombos, like the trader quest attack. Uh, okay. I will meet you guys back at the trader for our turn. -in. Okay, man. Let's see what you got. There's a blood moon coming. Yeah, you're right. There's a blood you moon must coming. Think you're pretty hot shit now. I well, don't you did it. So necessarily I'll think I'm pretty hot shit. I'm just trying to survive, man. All right, this is worth more money, but this is actually probably more useful to us. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take that. That what what a shitty reward for a tier two quest to begin with, man. What the hell? <laughs> you suck, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't. We might just we might just have to go a little further out, guys, to do these tier threes. Well, here's the problem though. We can't remember. We can't break into the chest. I'm gonna have to start working on lock picking, I guess. Oh shit. Okay. I really don't think we can manage a, a buried supplies with the waves that come in. At this point. Okay, let's go back to previous tier. And we're just going to have to stick with Tier 2 for a bit. You know what I might end up doing, too, is I might just... I mean, we we'll, we might as well continue taking Tier 2s, but we might just do a random 
just go loot any house we want to. Um, the advantage to doing that is we're going to find more loot more quickly, uh, even though we won't get, you know, uh, the, the questing will slow down a little bit. You know, the cr progress, I'm trying to send the questing. But until we get our lock picking up, it's almost a moot point, at least as far as the end loot goes anyways. Um, okay, so fetch at Gambrel House. Help me, I think I'll pay for your I think services. we've already done this, but let's just do it anyway. You came to okay, guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode. And so I'm going to spend the rest of the day... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. Maybe look around a little bit more in, in some POIs for some concrete mix. I'm actually a little bit concerned about that. Let's go back. Before I let you go, let's go back and look at that block again and see how damaged it actually is. I am almost have half a mind to break it out completely and put one of my blocks in so I can keep it repaired. Um, We might end up doing that if that block is more than, say two-thirds of the way damaged oh it's only okay yeah it's only about maybe 10 percent damaged ish um all right i think i think we're gonna run with it because if that this is a half block all right so if that block breaks that means that leaves a full block space that they could definitely crawl through uh, you know, especially if they're getting down on their hands and knees. So, yeah, if this block actually breaks, we're we're host. We are absolutely toast. But, I mean, there's the majority of it's still there. And um, we'll just have to hope that it holds up. I mean, what else can we do, right? All the rest of this, uh, or the other thing, like I said, we could do is I could break it. But then I'm sacrificing a 4376 hit point block for a 2500. And, you know, that's... Not necessarily a good idea either, even though I would be able to keep it repaired. Uh, all right, here's what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. We're going to have one of these blocks. Here, let's do this. Let's look at that block. We're going to do copy shape. Right, okay, so if it looks like we're going to lose this block... I'll have this one, I'll, I'll open the door so the zombies can't get to us for a few moments. I'll put this block back down in there and I'll upgrade it and then put the door back so they can keep coming. That's what we'll do. I think that's the best way to handle this. Okay. Now, if I just have this block, say, uh, well, we'll have to do it quickly. So I really probably should keep it on my toolbar. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But but now at least now we have a plan. We're not just completely uh, relying upon that block not to break, uh, which is I, I wasn't too comfortable with that notion. And I'm gonna just probably look around for the rest of the day until Horde Night starts uh, and see if I can find some concrete somewhere. Um, and maybe we'll luck out and find some. If I don't, then I don't. You know, and then we'll then we have a plan B. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.